you'll see the map of the world and possibly the only place that we don't have a presence is in Antarctica. Well, I don't think we have anything for penguins at the minute, but uh, that's about the only place that we don't service. Sir Alan McClay's pharmaceutical company, the Almac Group, provides a range of services including research and development, clinical trials and the manufacture of active ingredients. He set up the company in 2001, just two days after retiring from the industry, and it now employs over 2,000 staff. I won't say that. Everybody thought it was a fool. I think the times I thought it was myself when I look back on it. The Almond Group is about six divisions that were brought together to service the pharmaceutical, biotech and virtual industry. Not in any way did envisage that we would go down this uh, definite science route that we're in now, which is the most exciting one with Almec, uh, because we are at the innovative end and we're in the research and development end. North of Ireland at one stage, the only two things I exported were beef and brains. And unfortunately then we got uh, uh, the foot and mouth disease and BSE and we, got, we didn't, they weren't exporting beef, but we were still <laughs> exporting brains. And this country is going to succeed. It'll only succeed through knowledge-based industries. And why would we send all our talent away uh, and when we can utilise it here? I think the thing most important to me would be uh, my relationship with Heather. It would be very, impo very important. Heather has always something to tell me, where she's been, where she's shopped, who she's met, and it's just one long story after another. And your mind forgets all about business because you're that, you're that worried about the spending that you, you've forgotten. You've forgotten about your worries at work. I like to be doing something. Like on holidays, I like to go to museums, I like to see, go to historical places. I love to be doing something. I, I just cannot sit, and even the thought of sitting reading a book beside a pool would, would annoy me. I, I can't, five minutes and that, that's enough for me. Yachts and boats in the Bahamas and things like that, they'd kill me, I'd, I'd drop dead if I had that to do. Imagine every morning getting up to think, I have to get into Bermuda shorts and go out in a boat and sail around and pretend to be happy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like that at all. How are they going to cut the hedge from the walls up?